Hello everybody, this is Keith from Crypto Coin Mindset. I hope this video finds you well today. And as always, I'm here to help you get your mindset on crypto. In particular today, I'm going to show you how you can earn Bitcoin rewards for shopping online and in store using Lolly. Now, Lolly is something I've talked about many times. As a matter of fact, I have an entire playlist that I'll link to in the end with all of the videos I've made about Lolly. But you want to stay tuned because we're going to talk about some of the changes that have taken place since I started making those videos with how you can earn Bitcoin rewards with Lolly. And I know many of you have asked, and I've done one video in the past about it, but we're going to do it again today showing you how to get your Bitcoin off of Lolly's platform and into your own wallet. Because remember, not your keys, not your coins. So stay tuned to the end of the video for that. All right, let's get to it. Let's take a look at exactly what Lolly is for those of you who may be new here and are not familiar with Lolly. Lolly is a mobile app and a browser extension that allows you to earn Bitcoin rewards for shopping at various retail. Over 25,000 retailers, to be exact, are a part of this Lolly network. Once you do sign up for Lolly, and there's a link to do that in the description below, it is an affiliate link, doesn't cost you anything to use it, I get a small compensation, and I appreciate that. It helps me to continue to make this great quality content and get it out to you. So again, link in the description below. But once you sign up for Lolly, you can be earning Bitcoin rewards immediately and online and in store. So let's dive in and take a look at some of the retailer that you can shop online and start earning. Let's go take a look. So we're here in the dashboard on my Lolly account. We're gonna go through the card boosts in a little while because that's part of the changes that has happened since I started making these Lolly videos. Not only do you attach cards and you can shop in brick and mortar stores, however, that change has also created a small change with regard to how you can earn Lolly online. But first, let's go take a look at some of these potential retailers you can shop at. I'm gonna just scroll through and chat while you look and see some of these various retailers you can go to. Now, the amount of Bitcoin rewards you can earn depends on the retailer themselves. You can see here, there are some that are as low as like a half a percent back to up to over 25% back. It all depends on what you're shopping. And there are usually other terms and conditions with each retailer. So make sure as you're activating, you hit the one little shop button right here. And as you're activating whatever shopping spree it is that you want to do, you'll see a terms and condition box pop up that'll explain any of the uh, legalese uh, that's involved with the particular retailer that you're shopping on. But you can see as I'm just scrolling here, it's like the list of potential sh retailers to shop at, stores to shop at, is just, it goes on and on and on. And and not for nothing, it's it's really all kinds of different things. Everything from outdoor goods to tax preparation to VPNs, coffee, food, I mean, you name it. There's a retailer here for it. I'm going to scroll a little bit more. Again, we're, we're, we're literally just getting into the C's here. Because uh, actually, no, I thought they were in alphabetical order, but I guess they're not. I mean, look at this. It's, it's just crazy. But one of the nice things that has happened with Lolly is that you are able to download the app on your phone. And when you do, you sign into your account just like you would on the computer or on your laptop. And you can then connect a card to your account, a bank card. That's one of the changes. That's where these card boosts come in. So you attach your bank card to Lolly. You're going to go into a store. As a matter of fact, my last video was showing you doing exactly that when I took my granddaughter to McDonald's. So I'll link to that video in the description below and I'll put it up in the corner as well. And take, watch how easy it was to go to McDonald's, enjoy some time with my granddaughter, 
and earn a little bit of Bitcoin in the process. But once you put your, you link your card to your account, then you can go and activate a card boost in store. So if you decide, for example, you're going to go to Walmart and you're going to use the your bank card, well, no problem. You activate this, 2% back, go shopping at Walmart like you normally would, and you're going to earn Bitcoin rewards for just shopping in the store like you were going to do anyway. And there are a ton of retailers that you can use card boost and gas stations even. Now, I'm going to tell you, the gas station thing, honestly, I didn't even think about it. Once you link your card to Lolly, they also give you an opportunity to get some Bitcoin rewards even if you forgot to activate a shopping boost. I'll show you that in a minute. Because that happened to me. I went and put some gas in my car, didn't even think about it, used my card, and then I got a notice from Lolly saying, oh, you missed out on rewards. You should have activated your car. You should have activated your shopping at Lolly or with Lolly. And they still gave me some rewards. You know what? Let me show you that right now. So now I've navigated over to my wallet. This is how much Bitcoin I have earned from shopping with Lolly. You're going to see available right now, I can take $26.33 or 00085307 BTC off of Lolly. We're going to do that at the end. But let's take a look at the activity. So I've activated a bunch of these and you can see I didn't end up, I activated, never did my eBay shopping, but eBay is one of the places. And you can see CVS. Now, right here, for example, this was, a, this was a CVS. I went into CVS, went shopping, and forgot to activate the card boost. And then it came back to me and said, hey, you could have earned more, but we'll let you get this amount just because you've linked your card. So I took the consolation prize and still got myself a little bit of BTC. Here's that gas purchase I was telling you about right here. Stopped at the gas station, gassed up, forgot to put the card boost on, and they said, well, you can get a little bit anyway. I'll take it. But as you can see, a lot of different shoppings possible here with Lolly. So let's recap a little bit. Link in the description below to go ahead and sign up for Lolly. Once you do, you can add a browser extension to Chrome browser, or I use Brave browser. I suggest if you are even remotely privacy minded that you use Brave browser. The extension works for that as well. You load that up, sign in, and then you just go do your normal thing that you do when you go shopping. And the extension will pop up if you land on a site that is part of the Lolly network. It'll tell you, hey, activate your Lolly rewards. And you can go shopping and earn the rewards. You can also load the app on your phone and go using Card Boost to brick and mortar stores and restaurants and earn Bitcoin back once you link your bank card. Now, I promised you that we were going to take some Bitcoin off a of lolly, so let's go do that now. So as you can see, I'm in my the wallet section of my lolly account, and again, that's the amount of Bitcoin that's available for me to take off of the platform right now. These other ones are pending. Uh, this other three dollars is pending. So let I should probably explain that. The retailer that you shop at sets the terms of how long your Bitcoin rewards are locked. Usually what they do is around 30 to 90 days. And the reason for that is, so in case if you decide you're going to return the uh, items that you bought, well, then obviously you're not going to get rewards for not completing the purchase. You return the items. Or perhaps if you, I've used it to go get hotel rooms. Lolly, there's a lot of hotel options on Lolly. And they want to make sure you actually stayed, paid, everything's good. Then your rewards get unlocked and you can remove them from the site. So the majority of my rewards are ready to come off and put into my own Bitcoin wallet. The rest will unlock eventually and then I'll be able to take them off. Okay, so in this back section, you see this is my balance section. We just reviewed the activity section where I showed you how I missed out on some Bitcoin rewards. Now we're going to transfer. So you click over to transfer, and then you have a couple of options. You can either transfer to a Bitcoin address, 
which is what we're going to do today because, again, not your keys, not your coins. And frankly, I don't want fiat. You can cash out to a bank. They'll do the transferring BTC to cash, USD, whatever. Actually, Lolly's only available in the U.S. right now. So the USD and then send it to your bank, your linked bank. The problem is I don't want the fiat. I don't think you do either. That's why we're here learning how to get some passive income with Bitcoin rewards, right? So let's get to it. We're going to click transfer and it's going to want the Bitcoin address. So let me get to my Exodus wallet and we'll put it to my Exodus wallet for now. Copy my address. We're going to paste it in here. I'm going to double check to make sure that's correct. It is correct. You can see it auto fills the amount of BTC that's available to come off. It gives you a USD value uh, for that BTC. And we're going to review this withdrawal. And it's telling you it's going to be sent to this address. This is how much is going to be sent to that address. They do charge a small transaction fee, and that'll be the total payout when it's all said and done. So let's get to that. We're going to submit that and then check your email to confirm this transfer. So I'm going to head over to my email. Here we go. Lolly transfers, confirm your transfer. And it explains that a transfer has been requested. And as a security precaution, I need to confirm that I made this request. And obviously, this will time out after 30 minutes in case, for whatever reason, I didn't make the request. It also tells you what IP address made the request. And it was me, so we're going to confirm that. Hmm. Logged into wrong account. Possible issues. Interesting. But yet... It looks like it's happened because look at my amount. So let's see if I can figure this out. All right. So it looks like that transfer is in process. Now, I do know that generally speaking, Lolly does individual reviews of transfers. So they will probably manually check this transfer anyway. And you can see here all transfers subject to security review and may take up to seven days. That's fine. As long as we get it, that's all that matters. So. That's how you withdraw your BTC from Lolly. So, quick recap. Sign up for Lolly. Link in the description below. Start shopping online. Passively earn Bitcoin rewards that you can then move direct into your own wallet. Because again, not your keys, not your coins. And then you can start building up the sats and earning Bitcoin. All right. That's going to do it for this video today. I hope you enjoyed this information. I hope you go and make use of Lolly and start earning some Bitcoin rewards. I think that shopping with Lolly can be so easy and profitable. I mean, why not earn some BTC, right? That I've created an entire playlist just about earning Bitcoin rewards with Lolly. Here's that playlist right here. Go ahead, check it out. I think you'll find this is a great way to earn some Bitcoin rewards with Lolly. Go ahead, check out that playlist. I'll see you there.